for spot today make sure we keep all of arms legs and bodies behind those ropes spot has a lot of moving parts we want to make sure we keep that distance and keep separated from everyone from the robot so boston dynamics is a company that's based right here in massachusetts and they build spot along with a few other robots and spot is now to the point in its design where it's widely available for companies to buy this is not a prototype this is something that's actually bought and used by companies for a variety of jobs. But before we really talk about what those jobs are, we want to talk about what Spot's abilities are. What things it's really good at, and what things it's not so good at. So Spot is a remote control robot. It can be uh, operated by a human. So right now Lauren is using a tablet video game controller looking device to go up and down, back and forth, to move the robot wherever Lauren actually wants it to go. So if Lauren the just robot. says go left, walk forward, it's not, it's sort of like a remote control car, except instead of having wheels, it has legs and motors that control the parts oh of the car. So it can go faster or control. slower. And as you may have noticed, one of its first superpowers is the ability to identify objects and either avoid them or step on them. So Lauren is not telling each leg exactly where to go. Where She's just pushing green? forward or back on the controller. controller. And Spot has the ability to recognize objects like this orange cone. And even though Lauren is just telling Spot to drive directly into the cone, it recognizes the cone as an object that needs to be walked around, and it makes a path around the cone and keeps going straight forward. If it's an obstacle that's a little bit lower, Spot is able to decide this big blue block looks like something that I can step on, and its programming tells it to not go around it, in fact, go up and over. And so the programming tells the robot where to put each leg, how to step up and on and over something, and its second superpower is balance. So Spot is an amazingly balanced robot. It's able to constantly take in where its body parts are, how it's moving and falling, and to be able to quickly put a leg out. So similar to how if you were on unstable terrain and you slipped, you would instinctively throw out your arms and make your legs wider. So Spot has that same ability. It's constantly sensing how it's tipping and moving and changing and putting its legs in a position to keep it stable and keep it upright. So you may have seen videos of lots of different robots on the internet. Some of them do really great things, but if they fall over, they're completely useless and they fall over really easily. So Spot is a robot that's specifically built to be really good at staying stable, to not fall over. And if it falls over, it can even make itself upright and stand back up in most circumstances. So how does it achieve all of that? Well, sensing its environment is one of the most important things. We have a lot of different ways to sense what's around us. We have sight and smell and hearing. Spot has sight, but it doesn't have eyes. Instead, it has a series of cameras. 
So this camera's pointing forward and backward and to the sides, giving almost 360 degree vision. There's one slight blind spot in the hip. Wait, I but those to... cameras pick up all the Thank objects you. around them. Right so there. Lauren can switch between all those camera feeds if she wants to look at what's ahead of it and then suddenly what's behind it or off to the side. But Spot also, in addition to those cameras, has another system of lasers that it's constantly pointing out in every direction. Really low power lasers, in fact, invisible lasers called infrared. That's a type of light we can't see with our eyes, but it is the same kind of light that you might see on a, um, the front of a remote control that you might use to turn a television on and off. That tiny little light bulb never seems like it gives off any light. That's because the light is invisible to our eyes. So right now, Spot is shining infrared invisible lasers and those dots show up everywhere around it and it uses the dots, it picks them up with an infrared camera to tell what flat ground is in front of it, where objects are because those dots will be in different places and it's programming tells it where objects are, how tall they are, where it is in relation to all of those and it's programming allows it to create a path through all of that. So the ability to navigate, even when the human operator is just telling it to walk forward, it can go around obstacles and even climb over some and stay stable, that is the robot. So with all of that, do we have any questions about Spot? What it can do? And we want to hear from you. If you had this robot, what would you use it for? All right, looks like we have a question in the back corner over there. How much does he weigh? And so how much does Spot weigh? About 75 pounds. 75? So it's oh, made oh, of a lot of metal. The outside is kind of a plastic material. The motors are really heavy, and computers are never really that light. But it's 75 yeah, pounds, like it's about true. the weight I'm of a dog out. that's about this size. So not Wait, crazy uh, heavy, but it's not a lightweight really. robot. When oh, we yeah. have to pick it up to move it like into an elevator or something. The it's moon is it? Well, it was the moon here. All right, other I'm questions over here, here in the corner. Uh, our most common question. Can Spot jump? Is that Mickey Mouse? Are you jump Mickey Mouse? Oh. Okay, uh -oh. it's not a jumping robot. It can go through a little bit of a routine, if you can bring that up, Lauren. It has some choreography, which is one of the first things we can use a robot like this for. Just fun stuff. We could use one robot to do a little dance and entertain people, or we could use a whole bunch of them in perfect synchronization to do a dance routine as backup dancers for someone. And the Super Bowl show, I think two years ago now, had a version of this kind of robot with a lot of them dancing in the background. You may have seen that one. But it also has the ability to move its motors in just the right way. So it can do a little dance, move side to side, and jump its maximum height. It's about one inch off of the ground. So in, take about five, I'm sorry. So when we, when Boston Dynamics was building Spot, jumping ability was not on their list of superpowers that they wanted Spot to have. They wanted it to be a stable, oh, controllable robot that could avoid up. obstacles. And jumping wasn't really on that list. If we wanted to build a robot to jump, we would have to do that from the beginning. It does have some really cool, what are these called, gates? Gate, so gate is how um, an animal walks. So it can skip, it can do a little jog back and forth with only two feet on the ground at once. Um, but jumping, no, it's not one of its superpowers. We built robots that can jump incredible distances, but then you have to have some goal for the robot to do it. None of the spots, actual jobs that it can do require that much jumping. Okay, other questions? We carry things. Great question. You may have noticed on the top of Spot, it's almost perfectly clear, and there's two little black rectangles. Those are just places where you can attach something. So you can attach kind of anything that you can imagine to this robot and then have it be carried around. The most basic thing is just putting a basket on it. So if you were to take a basket and put it on the back of that robot, it could carry about 35 pounds or so, so about half of what the robot weighs. So that's about the weight of a modern backpack with all the textbooks. That, oh, when I was in school, probably it's probably computers now. I but you can have Spot follow you around and carry some things, which might be useful if you're, say, out in the field and you're doing research and you have to carry heavy equipment. Oh, Friends, make sure we're all the way back behind those benches, okay? If you have to carry heavy things through uneven terrain, if you're observing birds, 
in the heat bog, and you have big cameras and tripods. If you had a robot to carry that along and stay stable in that uneven terrain, that would make your life easier. So that's a great use for Spot, carrying stuff around. Can you play Taylor Swift? Can it play Taylor Swift? No, it's not one of the cool electrical devices at the museum that can play Taylor Swift. Lauren actually programmed our Tesla coils. If you saw our lightning show, I believe that was the most recent one played at the two o'clock. We can play uh, Taylor Swift. Yes. Uh, so it does not play any music, but that is good. Over here. Can you run? Can it run? So Spot has a top speed, which we can demonstrate. It's good at hopping, it's good at jumping, it can prance merrily, and it can't really run faster than the average human. So it has faster settings and slower settings, but really when you think about what the engineers built Spot to do, they built it to be stable. Less stable it can be, it needs to stop suddenly or turn. So at slower speeds, this is Spot's top speed, which is kind of a decide where to go on its own. It still needs a human to program a route, but you can start out spot at a specific place and then walk it AI. through a route while you're telling it to remember it. And then spot will on its own go through that same route, even if things along that route have changed. Say if the shelf falls over and it's going through the route, it will go around that shelf automatically. So it has that ability to flip, go ahead flip, and do, do a free program do a without a human even driving it. Do a flip, do and for do reference, a the coolest robot that I know that can also do that is the Perseverance Mars Rover. So if you've been in our AI exhibit, you may have seen it in there. The reason a Mars Rover is in an Mars artificial AI. intelligence yeah, exhibit yeah. is because it's, it's kind yeah, of a self-driving car. So the Mars rover can identify obstacles and drive along and go around boulders and pick a path. So the scientists, when they go to bed at night, they can say, drive to that rock way over there. And when they wake up in the morning, the rover has driven all that way on its own. That rover's top speed is about 0.1 miles an hour. So with this robot, it goes three miles an hour, speed that's 30 times faster than the Mars rover. So in that way, pretty impressive. Do we have other questions about our spot? Bob Speed! Bob yes. Louis Speed! How long um, did Spot take to make? Great question. So, Boston Dynamics is a Bro, company that makes Spot. spot. And they had their origins at one of my favorite science lab places that I've heard of. Bro, literally um, Spot. The university. Like, they had a, a lab like called spot. the Leg Lab. Like and in the spot. 1990s, they started on early prototypes of robots with legs instead of wheels. And their first prototype, they have it at the, the museum, at their headquarters. A lot of the educators that work with Spot, the 